Well, even though they had working smoke detectors, an Indianapolis couple could not escape a house fire at their home. That deadly fire happened on the northwest side last night, and today, neighbors told our Alan Carter they did all they could to save their friends. And I care. There are times when your neighbor and I ran up and down the street, called 911. What well, I becomes more we family than a neighbor. We have been family for years. Monica McDonald is not okay. A day after fire took the lives of two close neighbors and friends. I feel so bad. <laughs> because I love them too. That's all I can say. The fire started around 2 Saturday morning in the back of this house on Adams Street. A 55-year-old man and his 48-year-old wife were not able to get out, despite having working smoke alarms. Um, and they did activate. So um, again, we're going to take a look at everything that might have been might have been happening inside the structure before um, firefighters arrived. Uh, but the working smoke alarms did not alert the couple to awake them in time for them to evacuate on their own. McDonald says when she saw the smoke, she tried to get to them. Because I was trying to kick the door in and I was trying to do all that. All I wanted them to just come out a lot. Just come out. I couldn't. I couldn't. I did everything I could. Neighbors say it appears the fire started with food left on a stove. IFD says this is now the sixth and seventh fire deaths of 2019. In Indianapolis, Alan Carter, Channel 13. Eyewitness News.